I think the answer is very simple. You see, HIV or the disease AIDS is caused by virus infection. But the virus is not a defined entity like measles virus or polio 1, 2, 3. It's a virus that changes the surface determined all the time. And the immune response actually pushes the virus around. And that's why if you just take one type of virus, you will never protect against all these multiple variants. And that's why we don't have a vaccine. Very simple. I think at the moment there is no hope, except for what I've mentioned, that you take all variants and make a big huh? Combine everything, 100,000 variants, but this is very difficult to achieve. No, 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 very optimistic. But just simply to say, I will make a vaccine, I think is bad. Because against certain infections, you cannot make a vaccine. That's all I say. I think that price hasn't changed my life at all. But it made possible for me to talk to people that otherwise wouldn't have listened to me. And one of the things I did, actually, was write for Blick. For five years, I made a column. Every Monday or Tuesday, there was a very short column on some result in science. And I couldn't have done that without the Nobel Prize. So, yes, in certain aspects, like teaching, like reaching out to the general public, it has opened up possibilities. I think for me personally... You know, once, usually, you know, once you're 16, you don't really change any longer. I was 52, so I didn't change. Of course, I've been to Fribourg many, many times. I really like the old city very much indeed. It's like a fairy tale.